Food is a huge part of Chinese culture. It's the glue that ties us together. Dishes are often cooked quickly over high heat. Meal times are lively, but we eat slowly, savouring the food in each other's company. Dishes such as wet and sour pork, stir fry, noodles, fried rice, and chow mein became Kiwi favourites. We, we, we were fish and chips and pies because the, the whole thing, of course, was introducing New Zealanders who have come from an incredibly bland style of eating to something that had some real flavour horsepower, you know, it really was, you know, those first mouthfuls would have been relatively um, shocking in a good way um, to, the, to the Kiwi palate, for sure. Certainly the Chinese um, cuisine was the first one I think that really um, would have been regarded as quite exotic. You know, mo most people probably have a bottle of soy sauce in their pantry now. Hopefully they've got um, some sesame oil. One of my favourite food memories is roast pig or seal G. I remember parties at my great aunt and uncle Ngigong and Ngi Paul's market garden home. It was like the whole Chinese community was there. Us kids would run around the lawn waiting for the roast pig. When the pig was ready, it was hoisted out of the oven. The crackling was like pork candy. The first crackling right, is the crackling that you you bite into and it's just so crisp. You know, there's none of that um, um, tension of it not being crispy. Um, it's just like tok tok toy they call it. Tok tok toy. More than crispy. Mm. Crispy, crispy, crispy. It's tok tok toy. When I travel to Auckland or Wellington, yum cha is a must. Each dish has individual bite-sized delicate and delicious morsels. I can't rank my favourite yum cha dishes, but I really like chicken's feet. It's so soft and nicely braised. It's not much of an effort to eat it. Like, it just slips, the meat just slips off, slides off the bone. It should just melt in your mouth. Ji Chiang Fan, a soft, slippery, long rice noodle with either char seal, prawn or shrimp inside, is something to savour. Seal mei or steamed dumplings are another must have. Noodles or man are eaten on special occasions such as Chinese New Year or birthdays as they represent longevity and happiness. Mum always tells me to eat noodles because long noodles means long life. You know, Dominion Road is, is one of my favourite places to eat in, in, I'll say, the whole world. It's no fuss and, 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 you know, bang down the menus, what do you want, and it all happens relatively quickly. Like many other Chinese families, my parents bought a fish and chip shop. The business was their livelihood, providing a better life and supporting my brothers and I through university. We spent weekends, holidays and after school working in the fish and chip shop. When our friends were hanging out or playing sport, we were working. Food has always been a big part of my life. Sharing food with friends and family is one of life's great joys. <laughs>